A young couple's date night is interrupted when a roommate returns home from a religious sermon possessed by a demonic spirit. Dun, dun, dun. I just wanted to say, you know, your pitch was amazing, which is why you were chosen as one of the three finalists. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Paul. Oh, I was been beating this whole time. <laughs> Later on, when the projects get bigger, it's going to be a lot easier now to, to reach out. Just to tell them the vision, what's happening, where we're going. My vision for the marketing is to have both, yeah. both the skills and the video of the same. So how's pre-production going? Tell me, tell me what's happening with you. <laughs> well, I mean, that's one reason why I'm so happy. Because things are falling into place. Just the, the rewriting, the changes, like getting, getting the new prop. Been really struggling with getting the script to the point where it needs to be, and now I finally cracked it. In a perfect world, when are you uh, looking to shoot? So, we've actually confirmed our dates tentatively for the 23rd, 24th, and the 25th of June. So how's it going to post? So post is, has been an up and down challenge, uh, but it's there's steady progress in it. We're currently uh, doing the second cut for the edit, and it's coming along smoothly. Now, when we got this pitch, I'm going to tell you, I was like, OK, now we're going into sci-fi world. I didn't think they could pull it off. I was like, it's going to be quick. How are they going to make us believe it? that it's uh, the zombie thing, are they gonna pull this off? And I have to concur with Ted. I thought they did a really, really good job. I honestly just did a zombie film here in America, so I know what all goes through with the blood and the gore and making it be believable and being scared. So I thought they did a wonderful job, very well executed. Go die.